Hello, everybody. Welcome to the uh, first weeks of our training. We're going to do a three week training course here to teach us almost everything we know. Uh, before I start waffling and doing what I usually do, I'll just say hi to a few guys. Let me know you can hear me, guys. Hey, Barry. Hi. Hey, Barry. Paul. Forbes. It's Patrick Forbes, I'm assuming. It says Forbes Patrick. Chuck. Uh, Girish. Ted. Hi, Ted, mate. Stephen. Uh, Alejandro, I think that's pronounced. Hey, Michael, Paul, we've got Thomas on, we've got Sasa on, we've got Henry on, we've got Sue, we've got Paul, Jerry, Alfred, right, there's tons of you guys, loads of you saying hello, 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 hello. Awesome to have loads of people on here today. It's great when we do it, when we do something that's not sales, because we get loads of, loads of, loads of the, the original crowd, and I've recognised tons of names on there, guys. Um, just let me know, quick one, that you can hear me properly, and then, um, Keith, if you just speak for us, mate, and give us a two that you can hear Keith as well. Yep, good evening, everybody. Can you all hear me loud and clear? That's Keith's posh accent. <laughs> That's my <laughs> telephone accent. I'll get the normal accent once we get going. <laughs> We've got one 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 two 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 one two two. Loads of twos there from Stephen Brocklehurst. I think he's <laughs> too stuck on his keyboard. Should we be seeing you or can I only see a page? Can hear you well. Uh, Sue, does it what does it say? Let me know what you can see. Right, guys, for those who've been doing it a while, it's going to be quite basic today. Like I said, uh, we, the room is really, really filling up. In fact, I'm going to start the clock right now, okay? So before I can go to the third slide, um, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to let the clock, the clock tick from now for another five minutes, okay? So that'll give, I, I said five minutes, then, I'm going to, and then I've got a free bonus for people who've got on early, and you can claim it. And I'll explain to you why we're doing it and what we're doing, because I know we've had a lot, we've had about 200 and... 50 new people join Lead Simplify this week, and a lot of you guys will be on. We've had over 900 uh, new people join this month, which, well, in the last 30 days, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, things are really starting to go boom, and everybody's seen the value of, of what we do and how it's working. Uh, page saying, intro to mass page and step-by-step -step process. That's cool. Yep, yeah, you, you're all seeing the right screen then, so uh, intro screen. Around multicolored, yeah. That I just because it's mass page, it reminded me of a library that never ends. I looked at that and I thought it just looks like loads and loads and loads of books, and you're just walking around the never ending library. So that's why I put the picture on. Anyway, that's how I think. We've got, some, we've got somebody else from uh, Yorkshire on here, Richard Brown. I'm in Yorkshire at the moment, Richard, so we might have to meet up someday. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. That, that. Did you know what? I know. I, I'm. I'm. I'm supposed to be going down and meeting uh, Alex, one of our guys over in Bournemouth soon as well. We've got any guys around that area? Let us know because once this pandemic's over, um, coffees and stuff. Uh, even at Alistair, Markle. I'm letting the time tick down a little bit, guys, before I go through what we're going to be going on about. Because, like I said, I'm going to give everybody you got an earlier bonus. Um, we've also got a PDF download today and. Keith did it, okay, I was going to put at the bottom of it, <laughs> this PDF was done by Mike Martin with no help from Keith, but then I thought he'd kill me when he sees me, so I didn't, <laughs> uh, but Keith did it, so it's actually a comprehensive one, it's really, really good, it's not just like, like the stuff I do, um, Weather, Weatherby, France, let us know where you're all from, guys, while we're, while we're just having a chit-chat at the beginning, oh, Stephen said you and Keith are brilliant, oh, what does he want? <laughs> <laughs> Steve Presley's in the UK near London. Uh, oh, awesome. whether, whether it be for um, Richard is just a kick in the backside for me because I'm in Wakefield. All right, yeah, because Richard's. Uh, oh, this is great to meet up. Alistair, we've got Stephen, we've got Essex, Altringham. I used to live down there. Were you on last night, Paul? Uh, North Carolina. I remember seeing Altrincham last night, and I believe you might have been on a presentation we was doing last night. Manchester, from bloody Manchester. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got New Jersey. We've got wow, there's loads. Baton Rouge. I honestly don't know where that is, but it sounds lovely. Melbourne, uh, Florida. I thought Melbourne was Australia. <laughs> USA, London, Nevada, Glasgow, New Jersey, Wellington, India, South Africa, New Jersey, New Jersey. Wow, we've got a lot of New Jersey gang on. I think it's New Jersey, NJ USA, and then one says New Jersey. Cape Town. Wow, guys, people from all over the world. I could just keep reading this for hours. I can see the things completely full up. We've got Florida filler. Right, I'm going to push on with the presentation a little bit now. We're now two minutes to the point where I'm going to give away the free thing, and then everyone who's on has got five minutes to grab it. 
um, Canada, expat Britain, South, 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 Eastern VA, Las Vegas, Texas, Rob from Devon. Devon, you're just down the road from me there, Rob. Okay, so we've got loads of people on right tonight. So guys, so, so this is the first of a three week training course. I can see we've got tons and tons of people on here. Everybody's commenting, which is really, really good. I like to have everybody involved. Uh, first, we're going to just do introductions, which we've kind of already done, which is thing. Yeah, five minutes in for a bonus for everybody. So there's kind of a bonus for everybody. Um, this will help people who already have Magic Page plugin, and it'll also help people that don't already have Magic Page plugin. Okay, um, so, so, so it's a kind of a bonus. Um, then there's a PDF full site setup process starting from zero so keith's going to walk us through the pdf today so he's going to go through all the things and we'll do demonstrations where people need it and then what we use to make this work so we're going to go through the tools and stuff like that and then q a so it's not going to be anything super super complicated today we're going to start hitting a lot more of the complicated stuff next week and then the following the final week we're going to go through the evergreen site model but up to date version so that's going to get really complicated and I hope that people go away from here and start implementing what we what we go through. Right, seven minutes past, guys. So is everybody ready? So webinar.deals forward slash live only. And the coupon code is live only. This is going to be up for the next five minutes. So I need people to open a separate tab, go over to webinar.deals forward slash live only. And what you need to do is put in live only. So this basically, if you've already a Magic Page plugin user, which I'm assuming most of the people on here are, but you've got a client who you want to set up a site for, this is going to give you a single site license completely free of charge. Those who's come on tonight and this is your first time and you're one of our lead simplify guys and you want to start learning the whole process and everything we do and all the things that we do to push forward, this is going to give you a free single site license that's going to help you get started. Okay, so we're going to help you follow through the process so that nobody on the presentation who got in early is sitting there thinking, oh, well, I haven't actually got Magic Page. Well, you actually have. There might be a little bit more of a learning curve for you, but you're going to learn a lot of that tonight. OK, and we're giving you single site license because I know anybody who takes a single site license on this product will further down the line upgrade. OK, I've said it, um, but it means we can help you. We can push you through and, and, and you've got what, what we've done so you can learn this. I have no problem if somebody claims this single site license and then they've already got Magic Page, so they're using it on lots of sites. You can use it on a client site. No problem at all with that. You can give it to somebody if you say, you know what, my mate such and such would be happy to use this because I've tried to introduce him, but he can't afford the ninety seven dollar a month price tag then you can give them a single site license so they can experience it and they can become part of our community. Does that sound fair to everybody? Is everybody okay with that? Yes, 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 yep, 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 read it. Says 50 cents. It does, Robert. Unfortunately, you can't do 100% discount. There's nothing I can do about the 50 cents. I promise not to spend it all at once. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting done, 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 done. If you have magic page, Michaels, you can still claim it and you can use this on the client site. Because your clients need their own their own licenses for their sites, otherwise they can they can they can get your your API key blocked because there is thingies because yes, 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 page page not loading. Delphine, that's probably because tons of people are on here and they're probably all <laughs> clicking it. Uh in a new site. Done. Thank you. Working, done. Please explain again. It's a single site license, so it's gonna cost you fifty cents. It normally costs you ninety seven dollars. And because I want everybody on here in a position where they know that they've at least got access to one website with this on that they can and anyone who claims it twice i will i'll, I will remove them both <laughs> so don't do that and if you have and you tell me now we'll remove one of them but if you don't tell me i'll remove them both no there's not there's no monthly or anything dave it's a single site license completely well not completely free it's going to cost you 50 cents because you can't do 100 percent discount on here um, I don't want people buying Magic Page plugin at the minute. We, we've got an amazing deal coming in about two to three weeks, um, which is going to be everything you could ever possibly need all under one roof. So just just use this. Existing guys will get bonuses on that as well. No, it won't work for HTML, but you can export HTML sites with it. Thanks. Done. Cheers. Done, 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 done. Got it. Done, done, done. Thank you. 50 cents. I'm How much? I'm from Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Patrick Forbes, have you put in a a? Sorry, it says we're sorry, but your buying privilege to this vendor's products have been removed by a vendor. Please contact the vendor for further information. Patrick, if you you have purchased off us and you haven't contacted support and and enabled us to 
issue a refund because we just issue refunds if anyone asks. So if you've if you put in a dispute against us without speaking us, then then unfortunately you would have got blocked. Um, I can check that out for you though at the end of the presentation. And if it's not that, then we will on it. We will honour this for you and give it to you. If it is where you've done that and you've not contacted us first, then unfortunately we we, we don't we we don't allow future purchases uh, simply because we don't want people putting in loads of disputes against us when we do look after our customers we do answer our customer support and we do give refunds pretty much to anybody who asks because <laughs> we're not really bothered about having clients that are not happy done now i'm broke sorry robert <laughs> <laughs> right, right we've all got it guys i'm just waiting for the time to tick over so um i did it at six minutes past seven minutes past and we're now at 11 minutes past so, so that means i'm really good at maths one more minute <laughs> one more minute to claim it then i'm going to move it across to i'm going to let keith take over the screen while i go and deactivate the live only coupon code right guys we're in the last minute i want uh, anybody who's not been able to do it to pop a put five stars if you know how to do the star, the little star keeps above the eight on mine, five stars into the thing if you've not been able to make it go through. The reason I'm asking you to do that is I'm going to cross-reference your name at the end, and then you can issue a support ticket to our support URL, which we'll give you at the end, and then anyone it's not worked for, right? So we've got Sue Ellen, five stars, Deborah Quinn, five stars, uh, Rianne's in saying payment can't be from Jerry, payment can't be completed. Stick five stars in, Jerry, right? Five stars for Patrick Forbes, okay. Delphine, Ronald, Lestine. Oh, hi again, Lestine. He was on last night. Uh, Sean, Jogo, I'm doing right now. Five star, five star, five star, five star, five star. Right, right. So all the people that haven't been able to do this, um, I'll, 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 I'll figure it out for you after the presentation because I'm going to have to go and take this down now because it was only for the people that were running the first five minutes and that time's just expired. Keith, uh, I'm going to make you yeah. present to me. You can start running through the presentation for us. One second, let me find you. Right, and uh, we'll give you the support tab at the end, guys. So anyone who's put the five stars in. No, you shouldn't be getting 48.50 at checkout if you're putting in <laughs> live only, all in one word, coupon code. Have you got the wrong coupon in there or something? Have you got a secret coupon? I don't know about. Right, <laughs> uh, Keith. Yeah. Okay. There we go, make presenter. Okay. It's all yours, mate. I'm going to disappear for a couple of minutes because I'm going to go over and deactivate the coupon code. And anyone that's got the five stars, I will sort that out with you guys at the end. Okay. Can everybody see my screen? Let's have a look. Yep. All right. Cool. I'll just start to move everything out of the way so I can actually see the answer boxes now. I'm not 100% used to this uh, go to webinar, but I'm getting there with it. Yep, that's where it is, Sue Ellen. It's MPP step by step checklist. <clears throat> this basically is my checklist, what I go through um, with everything. Okay, so obviously there's the initial setup. Then we go to setup post and we're going to go through it. I'm just going to quickly run through it just so you can see where i'm coming from you're going to get a copy of this there's going to be a link for you to get a copy of this and then basically you can actually do it yourself and get your sites going now obviously you might need to change some of the things around but that's entirely up to you this is just a, a starter from like sort of your scratch i'm good you'll get the link at the end uh, toby and we'll be sending it out for you don't worry so first thing I always do is obviously I pick a niche in an area. Now, depending on your SEO skills and things like that, you want to be picking a niche that's not too competitive for yourself. Because otherwise, if you pick one like, you know, like locksmith, which is very competitive, like pest control is competitive, anything like that, and then you try to go for it and your sites don't rank and you're doing this, you're going to get discouraged and you're going to run out of money or whatever and you're going to really like sort of stop so picking your nation picking your area is important 
Now, on my site, keithbest.com, I've actually got a video which goes through all that, which is why I'm not going to go over it. Getting the content, we're going to go through that uh, next week. Basically, I use things like Metaprise, which gets a lot of content for us. I've got videos on my site again, which shows you how to get content from like sort of the top 10. I'll just move my mic a bit. So can you hear us better now, Joseph? Just give us a, a one or a two or a, a plus or something. Yep, cool. Okay, so content, I show how I go through the 10, top 10, for your keywords, if you're searching for locksmith, you'll do locksmith Manchester. You find the top 10 and you basically build some content using their content. And then you spin it and do whatever you need with it. Getting a phone Keith, number. Yep. Can, yep. Can, just before, instead, instead of diving ahead really fast on that, on that point there, how you get your content. Yep. I know we're going to yeah. go through it in detail next week. Can you just yeah. show you another tab and just show it and then what you do that because I, when you show me about if you were doing this, I was like, holy shit, no way did I have not done this before. Which um, one? Going through the top ten list? Or yeah, just there. just how you do it. All you need to do is go over. You don't need to build the content, but right. just show them what you do. Looks weird. So you just type in locksmith. So I'm doing a locksmith site. So I'll just do locksmith Manchester. Seems rather popular in this group for some reason. <laughs> okay, so you go in now. Oh, that's a bad one to pick because they're all going to be your bloody sides. <laughs> right, I'll do uh, pest control Manchester. If I can actually spell Manchester. We'll do pest control in Manchester, that's slightly different. So obviously we don't want anything with Govin, but we've got Manchester pest control. Okay, so open that in a tab. Rent the kills, obviously a good one. So open that in a tab. Manchester exterminators. Open that. Pest force. So all I'm doing is open all of these, which are three best creators are no good for us. Uh, South Manchester Pest Control. 24-7 Pest Control, I think, is a, a big company. Are you, are you sort of banging on your mic for mate? So I've got, like, the, the best ones. It's on page one. No, nothing. Unless it's, I've just moved it closer to it because somebody said they couldn't uh -huh. hear I'd push it back to where it was, mate. You were loud and clear before. It's gone. It's gone very bum 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 like it's been whacked. Right. Right. Is that better? Yeah. Perfect, mate. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You need to pop. Right. So you need all to... I would do now is go to here. There's all right. Okay, so you, all I'm doing now is go to now. here and literally, yeah, good. And literally just copy this off, stick it into a text document. We've got one. That should be copy it. Stick that in and then look at other stuff what they've got on page on here and pick it up and put it in and then look at you know they've got stuff on residential so i'll probably put the residential stuff into another document because i'm going to be making a page on residential i'll make a page on commercial i'll make a page on for landlords because that's what they've got then i'll look at rent to kill and do something similar to theirs pull off the information off theirs and put it into the relevant text documents that way, I've then got a load of content which I can then use. This content then gets put into Spin Rewriter. I mess about with it. I change the paragraphs around. I put mixed paragraphs in from each of the different documents. So I make a thousand word document out of 
all of these pages. It is then gets spun. So like Manchester, I'll change Manchester to be location. And then obviously spin where you right, it would change committed to whatever, you know, homes and businesses, I'll do with that, which I always do is I'll do homes. Do and, and then just do that and do And then that bit there is going to be spun and it's going to have like the and the ampersand sometimes. So it's, it's all changing it all the time. Again, that would get changed to location. And like I say, I would just go through all of them and that's how I get my content. And that's it. You can build a lot of content very, very quickly by doing that. The content is important in these because you only have to do, it's a pain in the backside to do, yes, I know it is. And people will try and outsource it and do all the other stuff with it. And everybody who has, I've never heard anybody come back and say, yep, I found an outsource so you can do it great. They normally come back and say, well, that was a waste of time and money because I'm no better forward. Do it yourself, get it done right once, and then you can use it loads and loads of times. It's a pain in the ass to do, but it only has to be done once and then you've got it for that niche umpteen times. And you can always add more stuff in at a later date, which is what I do with my evergreen site. When I put another version up of that, I'll swap it around a little bit, put a bit more in, put a bit this in, and just change it. And you'll see that as we go through the rest of the course, what we're doing. So that's basically uh, your content. Like I say, we'll go more into that next week when we're doing content and stuff. So get your phone number. Obviously, that's through Twilio. If you've got Lead Simplify, then you set it up in Lead Simplify. Obviously, if you haven't, you need to set it up however you set it up. Uh, create Lead Simplify forms for the site. Again, if you haven't got Lead Simplify, they will just be your standard forms. People who know me know I love videos. So basically I create a video for every site, at least one. And basically that will be the main video, which will be for that, I think what we did there would be Pest Control Manchester. I use Vietnami for that because it's dead quick. I create that video and then I, I'll leave that video. And then when I come back and the site's built, I look in the Google Analytics and it says, oh, Stockport's getting a lot of their uh, searches. I'll create a video for Stockport. And the thing is, the video is already there. All I do is go into Vietnam and go, right, change Manchester to Stockport, change the music, change the voice and create. Boom. 10 minutes, new video, upload it using the X files and things, which again, is a bit more advanced. We'll go into them. Optimized images, I basically get about 20 or 30 images and I use uh, Lloyd Farrell's image optimizer, which I forget what it's called now. Um, but basically I just use that. I just get a load of the areas which are close by, like Manchester, like sort of Stockport with their latitudes and longitudes and get the images optimized. And that's done. So that's me basic, my initial setup for a new niche. Now, if I'm doing a new, like a, a different site, say I was doing, I've done Manchester, I'm doing Stockport, then the phone number would probably be the same because obviously I would be target that same area. And then the lead simplify forms, I might change if it's a different site, but I would change a new, make a new video and create more images so that they're, they're optimized for the Stockport area not the Manchester area. Obviously, if I was doing this site down in London, I would also change the phone number. But the content is still the same because it's going to change due to the location and due to it being spun. So that's your initial setup. So that's everything you do. 
this one, like I say, is obviously an important one because you need to know that you can actually rank in that thing. If you're brand new to SEO, then don't be going for things like sort of lawyers and locksmiths and pest control and things like that. You know, pick something a bit easier. And like I say, you know, asking the group for people who will help you to pick a niche if you want one. And I've got a video on how to do it. But I'll do a more in-depth one if somebody wants it. Okay, so next, Keith, you can obviously... Keith? Yep. Keith, before you go up, just scroll back up and set. There's a few questions in there. I'll just answer them before you move on. Oh, so, yes. um, when he says go for a simple niche, if we just scroll up a little bit further, just the, so we can see the top yep. of the document. There we go. Pick a niche or area. So, you've probably all heard me say a dozen times, inch wide, mile deep. Okay, go an inch wide, mile deep, which is like if you're going after the plumbing industry, go after underfloor heating, or go after boiler repairs, or go after boiler installations. If you're going after locksmiths, maybe go after auto or emergency or commercial, or there's different types of niches in there. If you don't specifically go after a, don't be a generalist, be a specialist. Um, and what that means is if you be a specialist, it's easier to sell the leads if you're selling the leads, okay? It's easier to rent out the sites because people know what type of, of, um, of leads they're gonna be receiving. So if you're giving them a specialist underfloor heating website, People are going to pay for it because they know it's going to be good quality leads every single time a lead comes in. If you're sending them a general plumbing site, then they could be getting loads of toilet unblockings and stuff like that. that people just hate doing. Okay, the content uh, somebody mentioned earlier, I think it was Alexander. He scrapes, the, he takes the content from Google and he spins it, Alexander. He doesn't not spin it, he spins it, okay, and then creates good content out of it so he doesn't have to go and get it rewritten everywhere. He takes what's already ranking, spins it, and reuses it. Um, I also I also won't use it word for word like that because I'll put it in. I put it sometimes I'll put the sentence in my own words as well. So it's not like I'm just picking their content up and spinning it. I'm picking it up, putting it in my own words, and spinning it as I'm going along. So you're not really using their content. You're using their content to get the ideas, but you're also adapting their content. It's using what is useful and getting rid of the crap. Right, are you scraping of Google? Yes, we are, Lulu. Um, David's just asked about, yeah, it's called Mass Optimizer. Lloyd Farrell's tool, Mass Optimizer, he uses for Im images. Yeah. Um, I think it's a one-time fee as well. Um, I, yeah, it's one-time fee. Um, what is your mind the most profitable niches? Uh, Giresh, I like emergency niches because cash is fast. So I use Rewrite app to rewrite content, but not a spinner. Um, yeah, I've got loads of different content apps, but the best spinner out there is still got a B-Spin rewriter. Um, it's the only one that I think writes in proper English. Uh, okay, guys, so yeah. I've answered the questions on that section, Keith. I'll, I'll shut up again and let you jump down, and then when you finish the next section, we'll go through that. We're going to do we're going to do a very brief yeah. setup of how to set up Magic Page today as well, guys. But we're just going to, we're just going to pop through this document. And a few people asked, can we get the document? Yes, we're going to give everybody the document at the end. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so next thing, obviously, you need to do is set up hosting. So there's loads and loads of different hosts out there. I found that basically with most shared hosting, you only get five or six magic pages. And I only build the magic pages like sort of maximum is 500. They're anywhere between 300 to 500 on my sites. You normally get about five on, and then basically the host will start slowing down. It'll become a pain in the backside to edit. And obviously, if it's a pain in the backside to edit, it means when people come on your site, it's slowing as well. So you find your host, hosts vary. I mean, Tony's got good hosts. I think it's something ridiculous, like, like sort of 36 quid a year. And I've got six Magic Pay sites on uh, one of his hosts and it works okay. Um, I haven't busted it yet. I'm gonna keep adding more until I do actually break it. Um, change your name service on your registrar. Add an info email address. And that email address, I just basically forward to a null um gmail account which by now will probably have about 10 billion emails sitting in it because i never check them <laughs> um, put wordpress on now with uh, tony's host and a few other hosts you now get um ssl for free so you don't need cloudflare but if you do i have it so you set up cloudflare and in the document just in case i need to I basically have how you set up Cloudflare. Yeah, so you create a Cloudflare account, 
add your website, pick the free option, check all the data is correct, because when you pick the free option and you put your actual website in, it goes away, it finds all your information, and basically it will come up and show you, and then it'll come up and it'll say, yep, yeah, we've got all your data, and now we need to change your name servers, uh, and you want to change it to dan.cloudflare.com and nancy.cloudflare.com or whatever, so you just change them. Click on the speed in Cloudflare, and auto minify, and click on SSL, and then check the auto redirect, and then that's your Cloudflare setup. Now, when I do that, I set up my host, and if I'm setting up on Cloudflare, I wait 24 hours. The reason being, it takes that long for Cloudflare to set up the SSL. And then when I go in, it's already set as SSL dot, you know, or HTTPS dot, I should say. And I don't need then add that really simple SSL certificate. I don't need that really simple SSL certificate to transfer everything across. Because basically, the least number of plugins I have on there, the better. I try and keep the number of plugins down. Okay, so that's your, your setting up of your host, really. So is everybody happy with that one? Scroll back up to the list again, Keith. The first list, the second list, or whichever yeah. one it was before that, the Cloudflare one. Oh, that one. The one before yeah, that, that yeah. Host, yeah. Okay, yeah, just one of them yeah. here, guys. Yeah, set up, the, uh, set up the hosting, not that top one. Um, right, so, so yeah, he's gone through website into hosting, change name servers. Uh, we, we can do demos and showing you exactly how to do all this, but a lot of this stuff is if you go, if there's something here that you come across and you don't know how to do it, okay, when we give you this PDF, the reason he's written them the way he's done it, change name servers on registrar, right, is we've got a Facebook group there with 4,000 people in it. Now, in there, um, if there's anything you're struggling with, you can just copy the tab. So, for example, if you wanted to know how to add site to hosting, you can actually just paste that. Add, how do I add site to hosting to my hosting? And people in the group will help you and respond to you because that's quite a simple, basic question. Pretty much everybody in there will know, so you'll get quite a lot of answers. So once you've got this and you're going through this document, if there's any areas you're struggling with, then that's what you, that that's an easy easy way to get the response very very quickly. You can always submit it to support, but to be totally honest, something like that will get answered inside of the group very very quick. Also. Um, where he says the add info at email address, I know he clearly skirted over that, but that's very important. So what 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 you're best off doing is setting up a separate email address, right? And he's, he's saying, but for his hosting, but every time you install WordPress, I I have one email address that I use that I set up all my WordPress sites to, and I know it's not great for security purposes in case anyone hacks the email, but if you don't do that, you get 10, 20, 30 emails a month from WordPress every time your site updates. And it'll drive you crazy once you start getting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 websites. And if you follow the, the, the path that we're setting, you will end up with 20, 30, 40, 50 websites. Um, so I'm just, more. yes, and more. Um, but I just wanted to get to that because there'll be a few areas people don't know. How do you change your name servers on a registrar? If you tell people who your, your, your domain name's with, we'll be able to probably help you and answer. Obviously, your domain name people will answer some of these questions. But if there's any area you struggle with, highlight it paste it into the group and ask the questions in the group because uh, we, we know we're getting a lot of new people in all the time and we want to really help you guys to, 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 to move forward but we don't want you to feel like you have to memorize everything today because we're going to go through it you can re-watch this you're going to get the pdf download if there's a specific area you're struggling with obviously just paste the actual tab in sorry mate i'll shut up again now and let you jump down to the next oh wait there there's a couple of questions uh, right. uh are you adding a cloudflare for hosting or DNS management? How do you it's add your DNS Cloudflare, manager. mate? Right, DNS. Yeah. I just I, I, do, I, do. I just use the name server. I just change the name servers. Yeah. That's the easiest uh, way to do it. Right. Uh, if I already have Cloudflare, do I use that one account for setting additional websites? I use different accounts, Brent. But yeah. what, 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 I use different the accounts for everything. The, the good thing about Cloudflare is they don't insist on you confirming your email address so i always use whatever url i'm setting up i set up info at say mike martin plumbers.com 
and then I'll, I'll and I and then it won't ask me to verify the email address. So as long as you're using your own URL, you're pretty safe because nobody else can get that email address. You don't even have to set up an email address. Okay. The only time you ever need it is if you lose your password. But that's how I do it. I don't bother setting up even setting up the email addresses. I just use info at whatever the domain is dot com and and do it that way. Uh, can we use whatever builder we like, or is there something magic page Elementor and Generate Press? Yep, they're, they're my two favorite Elementor and Generate Press. We're going to show you a little bit of that a little bit later on. Well, yeah, um, you can use any builder you like, but it just works. Are you taking calls from that many? Taking calls from that many websites? Uh, no, Ronald, I don't take any calls from my sites. Lee <laughs> Simplify deals with all my stuff, or my my staff deal with my stuff. But if I didn't have a team of staff, I'd just that Lee Simplify deal with all that and and distribute to all my lead buyers or to all my rank and rank guys. Um, if required, how do I know if it is required or not? I personally, Chuck, sorry, Cloudflare, if required, how do you know if it's required or not? If I was you, Chuck, I'd set it up on Cloudflare because Cloudflare is owned by Google, but it's used to seeing people setting up websites on, on Cloudflare. Whereas if you're using an SSL certificate provided by your host, um, your hosting company, then you're going to end up with hundreds of, you don't know what what um, SSL certificates they're using or how many SSL certificates they've got. And unless they're a really big company like GoDaddy or somebody, and they've got billions of sites or millions of sites on there, then you could end up losing rankings simply because they've only got 10,000 websites on their host and 10,000 websites that all pretty much use the same SSL certificate. So I personally would just keep using Cloudflare. Um, having trouble uploading to a new site. Okay, uh, Lulu, I'll check that out for you. To submit a support ticket. We'll show you the support desk in a minute uh, shortly. If I have a brand new URL instead of EDM, um, City, I am curious how to make a branded URL rank in multiple cities for a niche like pest control, etc. Just a better on page SEO. Yeah, it's just build additional pages for different areas and rank them. Uh, MPP works really well about this. I did a video yesterday and showing people how my sites are actually ranking for the, the industry and the near me, as opposed to ranking for industry near me location which generates thousands of uh, of clicks and calls every single month and that that's the, that's the key people a lot of people go too big and they generate uh, 500 a thousand 2000 pages and think they're going to get more traffic doing it that way you're better off sticking to one 100 pages max that i'd start out with and then I'd, I'd i'd really optimize them and that way you'll find that because of the way all the geolocation data and all the other clever stuff in the back of mpp works you'll find that it actually ranks for for example auto locksmith near me as opposed to auto locksmith near me manchester and that th them them single single keyword rankings generate a ton more traffic you can use beaver builder um not thrive uh it does work with divi yes sorry mate i'm just gonna go through a few more of these questions yeah. i've got hundreds of people and so otherwise we'll be here for hours at yeah, the end yeah. what is cloudflare go to cloudflare.com sue ellen and you'll see um right cloudflare account website i have 10 websites on my one cloudflare account um i've done you that on a lot of them as well craig but it's 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 leaves the footprint because again you're using you can use cloudflare to get rid of the footprint but of course if you've got 10 sites on cloudflare then basically they're all using the same ip address they're all using the same uh, domain uh, name service so you're now building a footprint. Uh, if you set, it takes two minutes to set up a separate account in Cloudflare yep. for each per, each one. So you're best off doing it on an additional account every single time. If yep. you watch some of my videos when I go into Cloudflare, you'll see I've got about a thousand accounts on there. Um, SiteGround is Cloudflare a standard. There you go, that's cool. That's called SiteGround, guys. Uh, we're, we're going to go through the form first and then we're going to do a quick basic setup so you can understand that and then after we've done a quick basic setup we're going to then um that won't be it for today we just want you to learn how to set up and, and learn the basics next week we're going to go through some more advanced stuff yep Brent, yes cloudflare is for getting the ssl but basically the only reason i use cloudflare apart from it gives you a different footprint 
is to get a free SSL certificate. If the uh, I'd say Tony's host and it gives you SSL for free. So I might have some on Tony's host, which I don't put on Cloudflare, but then I'll have others on Tony's host, which I do put on Cloudflare. And that, then that's all that as far as for different footprint. Whereas if like so I've got a, a host and like Namecheek, they don't give you free SSL. So all of my sites that go on Namecheek all go up on Cloudflare. So that's the reason why I use Cloudflare. Right, guys, before we answer any more questions, we'll keep pushing on with the document, otherwise we're going to be on here 10 hours today. Yeah. Uh, go, go on, Keith, I'll, I'll mute again, mate. All right, uh, so I've done Cloudflare. Well, we're coming down to the interesting bit. Now, as I've got, I install the theme, which is Generate Press. I have the, um, the premium plugin to go with that. And because with the basic generator press, you can't change like a lot of the colors and all the different stuff like that. You can use other themes. Some people use Hello, some people use others. You can use the Divi, you can use Beaver Builder, um, you know, different things like that. I like generator press, I like Elementor because I can use, I don't use the actual, as you'll see when we go through the train, I don't use the actual, um, Containers, what they use. I tend to use more the text boxes because I can play about with them and put bits of code in and things like that, which enhance what I'm doing. Plugins, I use AdFunk, and that is basically so I can add um, Google Tag Manager dead easily. Classic Editor, that's because I hate the new block editor thing. Elementor, obviously, because I use Elementor. Formidable, because that's for me, my standard forms. Because on my site, I will have, on most of the pages, I will have the lead simplify form. But then on my contact list, I will have a formidable form, which goes nowhere. The reason being is that when you get the spammers, they will look for a contact list page and they will fill that form in. Now, what I don't want is like sort of 50 emails coming in a day from some bugger in Russia who's trying to get us married off with some Russian bird. Yeah, I don't want that. So basically, you know, if you're having that coming in, that's going to really annoy like all of your lead buyers. So I put a formidable form on, and that just goes to a, some email address somewhere. Generate Press Premium, that's for the Generate Press stuff. iThemes. That's obviously for security. Magic page, obviously for all the magic page stuff. And then Updraft Plus. Okay, so they're, they're the plugins what I use. And the Updraft Plus is for the backups, and so I can uh, also do the restores and things like that when I'm doing the Evergreen site. So, next thing I do with my site is go in and go into Customizer set up all my headings, set up my fonts and things like that, do whatever I want for them. A lot of time I'll just leave them as the basics, I'll change the colors around and it's entirely up to you how you want to do that. You'll find your own way. And like I say, I've got sort of you know, various styles what I've built over the years and I've got them like sort of laid out and I just swap them mix between them. The next thing I do is I create the home page and magic page layout, and that's obviously using like the Elementor stuff and things like that. Me, I have on my site, I've got a, an option where you can get some layouts for Elementor, which I give away free, but I was messing about with uh, one of the messenger bots and actually deleted the wrong one. So I deleted the actual messenger bot, which gives you that free. So I'll get that fixed over the weekend, and then I'll put a, a thing in the group so that you can all get a, a download of a, a layout which you can use. And if you want to see that layout, then just go to um, pestcontrolclearwater.com and you'll see what it looks like. And but that'll be a freebie for you, you can have that. And if you use uh, Elementor, you can just pull it in, and away you go, you've got a site made for you already. And then I create my services pages, and that's me layout for them. 
okay and then all i do is basically the content what i've just built up i just drop in dum, 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 job done so that's my site set up okay so then i'm going to go through this like as we go through like the site setup one i'll probably show next week but this one here is a magic page settings i'm going to actually like sort of show you as we go through apart from adding the api key because i'm not letting you have my api key i've already put that in okay so you add the api key put in your default radius i normally stick it to like sort of 30 miles because what you've got to think about is if you're trying to rent this site out it's no good having a default radius of a thousand miles there's no contract that's going to drive a thousand miles for a job so keep it nice and tight and just do 30 miles and then when i actually go in i might even reduce that down to 15 miles depending on the actual site i'm building put in your url structure and i'll show you what that is when we go into it now the google maps avi key i don't even bother with that now the reason being is because they've started charging you for it it's not so bad when you've got like one site and you've got a google maps api key on the chance of you getting charged for using the google maps api key is very minimal when you've got a hundred plus sites which are all getting traffic which you've got google maps on every page you start racking up a bill very quickly and it becomes it's not worth the you know the payment that you have to pay is not worth it for the benefit you get so i'll show you some other ways where you can get a map on which is like locally relevant to what you're doing uh set up the spin tag support or enable it yep keith yep oh, it doesn't matter i'm gonna let you finish off and then I'll, I'll i'll show them when you do the site in a bit but the map thing i've got a free code that you can use for the map yeah i've got a few <laughs> i'll just I can share them like sort of like I was leaving all that stuff for like next week. All the all right. intricacies what we do. Um, yeah, spin tax support, just I switch that on because what the spin tax support will do, it will actually enable spin tax on your home pages. If you've got this off and you put spin tax on your home pages and your service pages, then they're going to come out as gobbledygook. Yeah, because you ain't going to get unspun. So you need this on if you're putting spin tax in your home pages and your service pages. And if you are building a uh, an evergreen site, then basically you need to be spinning your home pages and your service pages. Auto rewrite options. I just leave it as it is. And basically what that does, it tells Magic Page Plugin to every so often rewrite your content like re-spin it and it does it for you and basically what that does is it actually makes sure that your content is constantly getting updated and it's constantly new so every time googlebot comes along it says oh this page has changed and then it goes away then you know months later on it comes back again it's like oh it's changed again this person must be looking after this site so google likes that so i always have that if you are using Elementor, make sure that the Elementor fix is on. Otherwise, if you put the X field short code in any button fields, it will break uh, with something what we found out. Uh, Elementor did a change and it actually broke them. Do you want to, to show something or any questions? Yes, there'll be a replay on Lynn, definitely. Uh, Girish, the free plan's the best one. Well, the free plan's the only one I do. Uh, doo -doo. Can I share the link to the press control site? Yeah. Two ticks. I'll show it on here as well later on. I think that should go. All right, that should be the pest control shared, Stephen. Where 
is. And it was Fintech Sporting. That's in the second section. You're going to see that in a second because I'm going to go into there. The copy of the checklist will be given out. Uh, yep, I'll just paste that in. Can we have a copy of your slides? You're going to get a copy of this actual document, uh, Johnny. Right, so nearly at the bottom now, if I think we are at the bottom. So next one is set up your magic page field. This is all going to all this is going to go through like sort of next week, um, like how I use X fields. I've already given all the X fields away um, previously. Thanks to Mike. <laughs> um, but you'll see what X fields are used for. Anything that's static on your website, like your phone number, your address, all of your fields, what you use inside your schema. Then basically that's what you will actually use your X fields for. And you can use them for like other things as well, which like I'll go through when we go through the uh, next week when we're looking at stuff. Meta titles, I'll go over that again in a bit more detail when we go onto the page so you understand where I'm coming from. The same with the meta descriptions. Complete the schema. And then I back up that site so that I've got it. So then the next site I build, I restore this bit. Everything is ready. All I have to do is change the images out, change the video out, done. Video done. I can create a site now from start to finish in about two, two and a half hours. That's creating a video, creating all the images, building the site, and getting it live. Well, two, two and a half hours, job done. So we'll go over this as well when we go in. So you obviously install your Magic Page database. Yeah, enter your default location, your radius. You select to auto install the locations. And then, you know, I always add about 30 locations to kick it off. Don't, like, not add any because it needs something to start it off. Add about 30 locations, 20 or 30, it's up to you. And then you, you set it to do it over 30, 60, 90, or 200 odd days. When you're doing this, because we have had a few people who've had issues, and basically one person set it up and they were saying it wasn't actually building the site out, but all they'd done was that the way they'd set the distance up, it only wanted 11 locations built and they'd already created them, and so it wasn't created anymore. And then somebody had, I think it was something like sort of 220 locations to build. And it's set to build out over 240 days. So obviously it didn't work because the you know the plugin can't actually build 0.8 of a site every day. Yeah, so make sure you've got enough. And don't expect when you you know if I set this away tonight, it, it's like 18:54 now in UK. If I set this away now, then basically if I come back at 18:54 tomorrow. It might not have built any locations. It takes time for the cron, like the WordPress cron job to kick in. And then once it kicks in, then it will just actually run and it will work. A set of backups, so that basically they are weekly. I add my major cities. Yep, straight in, and I'll show you how to do them when we yeah, get inside it. And then as the pages are getting built for my major cities, I add the videos for them pages. And then I wait, because I've got 30 days now for this site to build out. So in them 30 days, guess what I do? I build another four or five sites. And then after 30 days, I come back with that one, and that's when I go into and I start adding into um, Search Console and things like that. And that's when I start looking at, right, what SEO do I need to do to this site? And I start getting citations and all the rest of it. 
So this is the actual document which I use for my site. So this is everything I use. And you guys are going to get it for free. It does, uh, I mean, yes, the Keith. Free Scheme account, yeah. 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 yeah, I was going to say, just I'd read the questions out, mate, if you're, um, before you yeah, answer them. So then... before I... yeah. 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 So, I mean, it said, does the WP Schema plugin play a role in Magic Page plugin? For your magic page, you've already got the a part of the WP Schema plugin in there, but you can use the WP Schema plugin to do your services pages and your home page. Now, it's not something I do, but that's because I'm used to using code. I'm used to going in there and I'm used to editing like the schema itself. So to me, it's something I don't use a lot. But if you're not used to using code and you're not used to editing code, and if you break, if you miss like a comma off or something like that in Scheme, you can totally break your whole site. It would be better for you to use a WC, yeah, WP Schema plugin. But then that's like sort of for you. Yes, you can use it. Does the cron job need a non logged in visit to be triggered? No, your cron job will trigger itself. But if you do get a non logged in visitor to get there, it does trigger it a bit better, but it will trigger it eventually. I'm not sure what enhancing the lives is, John, but there, or Jeffrey, but there you go. Supporting sites is, I call them supporting sites, and uh, Mike, when Mike does his grams and things like that, he calls them something else. But basically, if you think of well, like me, me sites for me course, basically they are based around pest control in Clearwater. So I don't know how much you know about Clearwater area because I don't know a lot, but I'm learning. But basically you've got Clearwater is in one area. Then around Clearwater, you have areas such as Largo, Pinellas Park, Carpon Springs, Seminole, now, what I've built around them is a site on each one of them. So I've built a site for Seminole, I've built a site for Carpon Springs, I've built a site for Largo, and I've built one for Pinellas Park. Now, when them sites were built and they got like built up, what I then do is I then go into the magic page for uh, in, in say Seminole, I'll find the magic page for Clearwater. And what I'll do, I'll add a link on, which points to my Clearwater site. And then in the Largo, I'll do exactly the same, but I'll choose a different keyword and I'll use a different area of the page to put a link on. And then in Pinellas Park, I'll do exactly the same. So I've now got a network of five sites, four or five sites around my main site, which is Clearwater which means that when I send backlinks to any of these five sites, it's also boosting the Clearwater site, which is obviously the main site. And that's what I mean by supporting sites. It's sites which support me main one. And it's just the same as how, like Mike says about, you know, creating an area and then renting them sites out. And then basically if one leaves, you can still use them. Things. It's a similar concept, it's just we both use things slightly differently. Uh, the PDF, you'll be getting the PDF. We'll give you a link where you can get the PDF from. I don't use Rank Math because I use Project Supremacy on all of my stuff, which has all the SEO stuff in. I've never used Rank Math, so I'm not sure. How do I link the magic page to the home page? That's a 301. But I'll show you that. Um, well, I can actually show you it in when we build the site out, I'll show you it. But all, all you basically do is you can either do it in the HD access, but I would probably say the easiest way for you to do it is to install a plugin, which is like sort of simple 301 or something like that's called. And basically, you'll just 
pick up the URL for your magic page, which will be like in my case, will be magic page Clearwater, and then just put it in, and then just put in the next box, put a slash in, which means your home page, and then basically anybody goes to your magic page, it will redirect them to your home page. Uh, what do you think about one domain with general content and then 10 to 20 subdomains on that domain? That means while well, mile deep. It's not something I've done, so I couldn't really comment on it, but it'd be a good test for you. Who said that? So kind of see, you know. Victor, if you want to try that and let us know how it works out. Um, okay, Keith. Yep. Shall we run through a basic setup now just so that they can see exactly yep. how you set up the magic page? Have you yep. got a site that's not got magic page on it? No, I've just got this one on. Uh, where's my site? Where's my site? So, uh, plugins, we've got plugins because that's obviously, like I say, I always leave a basic um, theme on. Then if anything happens to that one, I've always got this one to fall back on. But plugins wise, I've just installed all the plugins I've already on here. And basically, you just go in and you just. I've got magic page activated already because obviously I don't want to show you my uh, uh, key. And then you've got iThemes, Generate Press Premium, Elementor, Classic Editor. So when I was on about going in and setting up, if you go into Appearance and Customize, then basically what happens is you get all your settings where you can change the colors and things like that. And you can just change your menus around, change your headings around. Let's make this full screen now. So you can go in and obviously you can change the identity of it. I mean, this one's just a, a dummy site, so you can change your layout. So you can have like sort of where you've got your container. You can have separate containers as it is now, or you can do one container where they all join together. You can have alignment by boxes, you can get rid of your pattern. You can change the colors of all of this and you know what's up here. Just by going in and playing with it. Like I say, I have a set lock, which I do. That's your menu, whether you want your menu, your full. So if you put it as like sort of full, it'll go at the side. Contain is in. And have it above the header if you want it. So you can make, if you don't get the Generate Press Premium, you don't get all of these options. And that's why I buy the Generate Press Premium so I can do it. Now, like I say, you can change the colors, you can change the typography if you want, you can put background images on, you can change your menus. And if you've got any additional CSS, sometimes I'll put stuff in there for buttons and things like that, which I want to build myself. If you know how to use them, then fine. If not, then you can get away with a lot with just using all of this stuff. Yeah. Okay, so that's basics really. Then the other thing what you really need to do is the MPP. So let's go into your settings. So your redirect URL will always be your should always be really your home page. So if you then try to find a or somebody comes on, they try to find a page and it's not there, it will redirect you back to your home page. Default radius, just change to 30. Now the URL structure will always come up as magic page. So basically you want to change this to something else. Now, say this was Corbellbanker.com and 
I was doing pest control. Because I haven't got pest control in there, then I would put pest control in there. As you can see, I put pest control in there. Now, if I had pest control in my URL there, I wouldn't put it in here. I would come up with something else. I'd put something like near me, or even near me if I can spell it. Yeah, or service areas, something like that. You can see all the ones what I've used anyway because they're coming up as I'm doing it. Then you've got Google Maps API key. Like I say, I don't bother putting that in. Then we do disable for regular post types. We want to have this enabled. And then you get all of this coming up. And we want to have the auto rewrite enabled. And then basically what it says is one week, 10% of your pages and 10% of your posts will be respawned. And the other, because it knows I've got Elementor on, it already enables this one. And then we scroll at the bottom. For some reason, Firefox always makes them extremely large. And we do serve sentence. So that's it done. Okay, so that would be that part done. So then the next step, obviously, would be to go into my magic page and say set my magic page up. Now, I'm not going to go through that tonight. We'll go through that on the next one. So what I'll do, I'll install the database. Just because I want to be able to show you some of the short codes, I'm just going to go into installing the database. So into the databases. So where should we go today? Oh, let's go up here. Now, you've got the Northeast, or whichever area you want to pick. The reason I pick Northeast is because that's where I'm from originally. I'm not a Yorkie bar. I come from up there, the Northeast. You can come into filters and you can pick your county. So I could say Durham, where the Pink Panther comes from. And basically, I can just install all of Durham. Or I could put other counties in if I wanted. I can put in zip codes or postcodes. I tend not to use that, but you can do. Um, that's our eight as a postcode. That's our eight as a postcode. You can put them in and it will only include postcodes which you've got the SR8 in. Installing major locations, you can do that. Now, Durham, let's see how many it's got. So, if I apply filters, I would only get eight locations. If you were going to build for, say, the whole of the UK or the whole of America, then you could go through, install that one, put the filters on for Northwest, just major locations and do that and do it that way. Well, it's just not have install locations on. Minimum population, you could put, say, you want 2,000, and then you can put maximum to 5,000. I never use the max, I do use the minimum but I don't use the max because I want as many people as possible. So 2,000. So if I apply filters now, that should go from 8 to 352. That'll do. So we just do install database. And it's done. So we continue to the settings. And then we can go back to the magic page. Okay, so that's now installed all of them pages for all of them locations. We go into magic page, so not being found because I haven't created one yet. We do add new. Now it goes away, verifies your license, and then comes back. And 
and we are done. Now, what I always do straight away is just basically publish it. So I'm not bothered about what the, the thing is up there because it's going to change anyway. So we've got series here, it's got number 10 in. Because where that number 10 is now, when we put a database on, that number 10 will change to be a location. So it will be, you know, Sunderland, it will be wherever we're going to put on. So let's see, let's just have, uh, if we install, yes, it's come in. So further on there, yeah, I'll do. So I'm going to leave these on, but I'll just show you how to do the auto install. So that would create 299 locations, 30 miles around people in the area. To do auto install, it takes that back to zero and it's going to install it over 30 days. Now, if you want to go higher, you just click on there and you can pick whichever one you want. So you can go to like sort of custom. But like I say, don't go like sort of your know, custom. I want to create 299 over 300 days. Yeah. I normally leave everything around about 30 days. There we go. Okay, so choose option one. So that's blasted everything out of the system. And then let me see if we can just update that. So now we've got we've got our radius set. But we've got no pages built so before we leave this to build on its own we would go in and we would actually build 10 locations and build another 10 and build another 10. obviously you can build as many as you want you know but i just i don't know i just pick 30. And then that's done. Okay, so we've got that, we've got them. So if I now go to here, oh, we've got no, let's give it the title first. Uh, so we've got that location pest control. Let's update it. Okay, so now if we go to there, we've got peak lead pest control. Okay, so it's not all there, but at least we've got some of it. So obviously you fill this in. One thing I haven't shown you is because we've got no element button up here because we didn't set it up. For element, eh? You need to go into Elementor, go into settings. And switch on magic page. What I always do is default that off. I don't want to just have Elementor's default colors. I want to have the ones I've picked and the same with the fonts. And then save changes. And then go back into magic page. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so obviously I'd be able to edit with Elementor and things like that, but for all this, I'm just going to put some actual text in here and then show you what we've got. So, head of footer code, you don't really need to be using that. So let's shut that down. Get rid of that as well. Right, so meta title. Now, the meta title is going to be 
it's the second most important thing when it comes to ranking your site. The first one is the URL structure. The second one is your net title. So in your net title, you want to have some content that's good. Now it's no good if you've got um, 200 and whatever pages you've got, 299 pages, and they've all just got like pest control, Pete Lee, we are the best pest control in Peatley, and that is pest control shotton we are the best pest control in shotton yeah google is going to spot them and just throw them out what you can have is pest control Pete Lee and then a load of spin tax pest control shotton and a load of spin tax and the way you do that is you would use your spin tax short codes so basically you would put in there this is going to be well, no, I'll, put, I'll just put title here. Okay, so this is me title. We save it. I save it anyway. Add a new option. So we'll have best control location. Yeah. We now this is not going to be the best like sort of spin tax. No, this is a bit. Best. And then we can put in there. Okay, so you drop something like that. And what you can do, you've got that one, you could add another one. So what you could do is have just copy all that. And obviously these spin taxes can be as complex as you want. The ones I use, like I've shown on my site how to actually generate these, and you'll see that they go five, six, seven deep, these spin taxes. And I'll have like six or eight of them down here. And what happens is that these, if you've got eight down there, it will pick one of the eight, and then it will unscramble one of the the ones inside there as well. So your every page that you've got, you're 99% you're sure you're going to get a completely random spin tax short code on. Well, sorry, you're going to get a completely random meta title. Because all you do is you do save, copy that, paste it in there. That's done. Meta description, you do exactly the same. Keywords do exactly the same. You can put the same title in there because this is for your uh, open graph gear, your open graph title, your open graph description. So you can put the same ones in there, uh, and that is it done. Now, um, Jason Schema. I always put on advanced, and I'm not going to go into this tonight, but I'll just open it just to show you. Yeah, Keith, I'd just show them how to set up the, the yeah. basic schema on this one, and we'll do the advanced next week, because I want to give them okay. Okay. eight simple steps for the easy specific setup, and right. then answer questions and give them the PDF. And we've been on an hour and 20 yeah. now, I don't want people to... All right, I'll get it there. I'm not nearly finished, I'm just going to show like some of these down here. So, like simple schema builder, it's a long time since I used this one. <laughs> so, you just open it. And as you can see in here, it's already got your site title, site URL. You can put your address in there. So, that would be. Uh, I'll do. That's your location, your region, your phone number. Now, what I would do in phone number.
just put that in. In fact, what I'll be doing in there is putting like sort of address in there, X field address. You know, and in here would be X field email. Yeah. So basically, that's how I would set this up. And everything's in there. And what will happen is this X field description is going to be spun, and you know, you'll have various things in them, which I'll show you in a second. So we've got that one in. So just close that. I'm just going to update so we don't lose that. Always remember to save stuff when you've done it, because otherwise you'll go on to something else and you think, oh, I didn't save that. Okay, so X fails, these are absolutely brilliant. And I will be going more in depth in these using location sets later, but not today. So we'll have a phone number. So it's 0191123456. And then save that. And I can't remember what else I put in. It was a description. So a description could be, you know, again, that would be spawn. This is spawn content. And I can't remember what else I put in. But I put like other things in, and basically you just build them up and build them up and build them up. Okay, so we just update that. Right. So as you saw in the schema builder, there was lots of these little short codes. And that's what I'm going to like sort of this is the last bit now where I'm on a short code. So all I'm going to do is copy some of them. The map one I don't use because that takes you Google Maps API. And I don't use that one now. City short code is great. And we'll go over some um other stuff. In the later ones, when we use like sort of this down here, the county search thing. But for now, I'll just do the this thing. So if we put cities here, and we just copy that. Let me just put in here cities equals yeah. Okay, so that'll do is a list of ten cities, and it will be linked just with the location. There is other things you can do. You can put your minimum radius, your maximum radius. But like I say, we can go through them all later on. If we copy location. Yeah, we'll put that one in. And then the other one was slug. And then what have we got to just keep in order. And your county, region, and zip. Never use country, and then we can use latitude and longitude. Oh, there you go. Or should we use URL as well? Go on. Site title and site URL. Oh, 
Okay. So what we're going to get when we like have a look at this, we're going to get a list of ten cities which are closest to Pete Lee, and then we're going to get like the location, which will be Pete Lee, the slope of the county, which will be Durham, the region, which will be northeast, the zip code or postcode, latitude, longitude, and the title of the site, and then the URL. Get that. Now these are all obviously short codes what you can use within the content. Or what I should have put in as well was Right. Well, now going to here. So as you can see, you've got the ten closest cities to, like Pete Lee, which tells you the locations Pete Lee, the slopes Pete Lee, which is that bit up there, which is what would be if it was live. Got region equals northeast. The zip code is SR81. Latitude, longitude. You title that. And you cite the URL as that, and then your phone number is there. So if I now hit wing it, title has changed to wing it, press control. Location is wing it, slugs wing it, still in down, but you've got a totally different postcode. Uh, let's go to Wing Gilbert. All of these have changed again. That's changed. That changes. That changes. So as you can see, by using the short codes, we can actually build up lots of different stuff. So that's really the basics of it. I don't think there's anything else we need to go through, is it, Mike? No, but I think you went a bit more in, in, into a bit more detail than we needed to tonight. But then I'm going to give oh. people a, a brief <laughs> checklist to go through so that they know um, the very, very basics. So if I can take over the screen, because we've got literally 12 minutes left before we have to jump off this presentation. Uh, but that was right. awesome, Keith. You went through. <laughs> uh, right. So everyone who's <laughs> on is looking at it and thinking, right, this seems super, super, super complicated. I'm going to take over the screen a second and just give you a quick brief drop down menu of exactly what is is what is needed to do this so if I, if I make me presenter and okay. I'm gonna show my screen okay so anybody who's absolutely brand new setting up you should be able to see my screen can you all see that I can see it. yep yep right so basically the very very minimum setup that's what this is here right minimum pp settings for setup is install the plugin right which is literally go to plugins add new upload do it add your api key because it'll pop up on a little square box it'll take you straight to the install location database you install the location the database change the url structure on the settings page that keeps just showing you where, where the api keys displayed um away from magic page it doesn't say that anymore then go click save go to the create um create page you want to create the page set the central location and the radius add your content using your short codes and add your meta title using your short codes that is the very minimum there okay so them eight points that are on there if you want to take a screenshot of that that is the minimum eight points because we're going to give you the pdf next but i wanted to just um give you that because anyone who wants to like run through and get it set up first and then re-watch this and go through and learn all the bits that Keith's just put us, uh, shown us, then what this is going to enable you to do is get the very, very basic set up first. So at least you've got a site that you can look at and you can see the pages. What you also probably want to do is have the city short code, which is square brackets, cities, square brackets closed, which basically just gives you your linking structure, your basic linking structure. Um, I know we've got a ton of questions in there, but is the pdf guys i'm going to pop this into the chat for you before we before we start answering any questions did you, have i missed anything on that that list and do you know what i haven't have a wait a second no, 
everything's fine. Uh, I'm just yeah. mapping through the questions while you're putting that up. I'll have a quick scan through. Uh, I've just put the to... I've just put the link for the download PDF into the chat, guys. Because this is going to be you use this as a tick box as you're going through your first time setup and everything. And then I'm gonna uh did I hear earlier that Thrive Steam does not work with system and Thrive Themes doesn't work with Magic Page plugin, no. Um and I just put into the questions as well, so you should have all just received it in the questions. But if you go to the chat, you can actually click the link and it'll take you there. Now we had a few people that had issues at the beginning trying to download the bonus and get access to the bonus. I told you to put four stars into the chat. So I'm gonna download the chat from this. I've got to go on to another presentation um, in about 29 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I will jump onto the support desk after that and if you have issued a support ticket has everybody managed to go over and download the pdf has everyone got to the pdf download link oh everyone's what, what uh, we said five stars and then and then four people in a row have just put th four stars in bob yep, they were, they were, they were, they probably weren't in the uh <laughs> the initial five minutes were they because no, the they were like, minutes, uh, timothy laws no, wasn't it the five minutes who wrote them in before? I'll go through and check it all, mate. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, and I will, I will, if each of you submit a ticket, I just want to know though, has everybody managed to download the PDF? Has you all got access to that PDF before we go any further? Everybody's got the PDF. Yes, 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 yes. Got the PDF. Thank you. Yes, all good. Thanks. Yes, 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 yes. Not yet. Hamid. Speed up, mate. Need to grab that. He's in the chat. Click it and do it because then we'll go to the next page. Yeah, PDF. <laughs> you said five star. I did listing. <laughs> uh, remember the help with the 50 cent deal. Yeah, I'm sorry. JV Zoo won't let me do it 100% free, otherwise I would. Uh, but you can't do it. Once we move over to pay Kickstarter, we can. But that's going to help everybody. So we rattle through these questions then. Yep, I'm going to jump onto the questions. So, boom, we're over to the questions right. page. If you missed the URL, it's in the chat. Download the thing. The support URL on the support email address is support at mikemartin.zendesk.com. So, the people who put the five stars at the beginning, submit a support ticket there, and I'll try to get it sent across to you today. If it's not today, it's probably going to be in the morning because. I'm likely going to finish my next presentation about 11 p.m. my time. Uh, the Facebook group's on there. Guys, any questions? Does anyone want us to answer anything? Anyone looking for any advice on anything? Anyone? Well, there's, any a few, there's a few in, so I'll rattle through them as quick as I can. So Victor Smith says, what do you use to track site rankings over time for your search terms? I use um, Google Analytics and Search Console because you'd never know what people's actually putting in. So when you use rank trackers, you're limited to what you put in, whereas Google Analytics actually tells you exactly what you are ranking for and also what people are searching for. Uh, A2 hosting, I've never used them. Oh, yes, I have. I don't think I like them very much because I went off them. Um, name Silo, I use Namecheap for all of my domain registrations. I have about five or six accounts on Namecheap. Uh, how important is site speed and is this why you use Cloudflare? No, uh, site speed, speed, as far as I'm concerned, site speed is not that important as far as ranking. However, it is important for usability because if your site loads like really slowly, then people are just going to back off. It is a benefit of using Cloudflare, but Cloudflare I mainly use just to get the SSL certificate and obviously for hiding the footprint. Because not all the same. Uh, uh, rank math is a competitor Yoast. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Stephen uses one domain with subdomains and it works really well. That's cool. I might have to try that sometime. Uh, Newbies WordPress will not function without at least one theme. Well, yeah, you've got to have at least one theme. Um, otherwise, it definitely won't work because you'll have lights out and nothing on. 
Uh, but it's always good practice to have a spare theme just in case like your the theme that you've already you you are using breaks and then your site doesn't like not fully break. Uh, have you tried this framework? Uh, WP Optimal. Well, it might be better than WordPress, but obviously we need WordPress to use the plugin. So I've never tried WP Optimal. Uh, Deborah's saying, couldn't you do the initial site build by using Updraft Plus to clone a site? That's what we do, Deborah. Um, once you've got an evergreen site, that's how I can build a site in two hours. Because I have like a number of sites already built for various uh, niches. And basically what I do is I just use uh, Updraft Plus, drop a site on, change the images, change the X fields, bang, site done. Very easy. And that's what we're going to be showing you how to do as we go through this bit. Uh, not Genesis, I'm saying generate press for Susan. Uh, at 1905, the live code won't be valid, Chris, because it was only for the first five minutes. That's a good point, Stephen. Um, you, so if you go into the settings, and we go into databases, because some people do actually get this, we do get this as support tickets, they'll come in, and normally when you come in, you get Australia, and people think they've only got the Australia database, but if you go to your top right hand corner, you've actually got a list of all the different countries, what MPP is in, so you've got Austria, Australia, Canada, Switzerland, blah, 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 Keith? blah, blah, blah. And you're Nobody can. Keith, oh, they can see my screen now. <laughs> All right, I'll swap screens. Can you present this or do I just click on it? I'll do it for you now, mate. Uh, one sec. <laughs> I'll start again. I forgot you took the screen over. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get out of here in about two minutes. And in fact, no way, I have a yeah, piece of my goal. Right. So I'll repeat that. So when you come into the databases section, in the top right hand corner here, you can see where it says United Kingdom. Normally that will say Australia, and lots of people get confused and think all they've got is Australia databases. So if you click on the down arrow, you get all of the databases that my page covers, which is all of them down there, right way down, and the United Kingdom, the United States at the bottom. Oh no, South Africa is right at the very bottom. Not too well, South Africa got the bottom because it's like an S, not a really U, but there you go. Uh, no, that doesn't automatically write to the home page, William. Basically, Wait, you need, what you, you need, need to do is. Keith? Oh, you, need to read the question you, need to, yeah. you need to read the questions out, mate. Read the questions out. Yeah, I keep, forget, I keep forgetting you can't see them because you can see the ones in, can't you? Uh, does this yeah. automatically write to the home page? No, it doesn't. What you do is you that writes to the MPP page, and then basically you, you redirect the 301, like we said before. Or if you want about using the short codes, yes, you can use the short codes on the home page and the service pages if that's what you were on about. Uh, Alan. Do we get a copy of this webinar after? Yes, there will be a, a replay which you can watch at your leisure. It'll be going up on Mike's YouTube channel and it will also be going up on my site. So you'll have two places to watch it. Uh, will we be getting direction as to what address to use for what Keith is saying for GMB? Use whatever address you want. The way I pick my addresses. I can probably show this uh, next week. Is I just if I'm in the UK, I'll use something. Uh, I'll just use Zoopla or something like that, and do a search for offices for rent. Um, if I'm in the states, then I'll use LoopNet and search for offices to rent, and I just make an office off there and just put an E in front of it. So it might be Office Five A somewhere. If you look on the you know, my uh, pest control sites have all got addresses, but there's none of them valid. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. And GMBs, 
again, if you buy, if you haven't got a proper address, you'll have to buy them. So the person who you buy them off will probably give you an address. Uh, please, Mike, can you tell how to add more pages to MPP? I'm still a little confused. I don't know how to add more pages, or if you don't have time, if you have a link to how to do it, many thanks. Well, we can't really go through adding more pages to MPP on this one. No, uh, Keith. I think yeah. I think I, I get this misunderstanding right because we use the short codes and because we use the the way the page is created, the pages are automatically created and the dynamic. Oh, so right. all these schema changes dynamically. Your short codes inserts the locations. So when when we go through adding the content and everything next week, this will make more sense. But there's one magic page, and it goes out and creates hundreds or of of location specific pages dynamically so you're not got loads and loads of pages on your website slowing it down but what what happens is one page and it, based on the search that comes from the internet decides which page it's going to create so if it's ranking for somebody somewhere like Oldham or Rochdale um, and it'll take them to the Oldham or the Rochdale web page and it'll also display the Oldham or the Rochdale um, uh, meta titles and meta descriptions so the situation you're in is the pages don't exist. The only thing that exists is the linking structure. But as soon as as soon as Google tries to visit the link, the 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 the, the software builds the page really really fast based on the link that it's clicked. So it always shows the right page for the right link kind of thing. So it's dynamic. So everything works on the fly kind of thing. I hope that makes sense. But they all exist. You just you set your radius, and that tells you how many pages you've got, and they're all in there, and they're all they're all controlled via one page. You don't need to worry about all the other pages and stuff. Okay, Paul says, can we receive a PDF? Well, Mike's just actually put that link in. Links in the chat for that. Uh, yep. Yeah. Short code. What is it? How does it work? Well, the short code is them little codes. What you saw. Things which I put in there, like uh, the square bracket location, that's a short code. Uh, square bracket slope, that's a short code. And basically, Magic Page uses them to determine what it's going to display. That's the short codes. One sec, let me just go back to that, Keith. Keith. So, yep. with, with regard to yep. the short code, if you've got 10 pages for Oldham, Rochdale, Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, and, and so on and so forth, if somebody lands on the Oldham page, then the, key, the the bracket, square bracket, location, close square bracket will display Rochdale. But if somebody lands on the Oldham page, it will display Oldham. So what you do is when you're writing out your content, if you was to write, for example, this is the number one hairdressers in Oldham and we do the cheapest haircuts and so on and so forth, you wouldn't put the word Oldham, you'd put the, the, the square brackets location. And then once you set your radius, every single page will display the right location. So it'll be, this is the number one hairdressers in Oldham. This is the number one hairdressers in Rochdale. This is the number one hairdressers in Stockport. So the short codes are designed to dynamically change based on the information that Google wants fed to it on the page. It sounds complicated, but once you've seen it work a few times, it's, it'll make perfect sense. Um, Girish says... Lengthy setup confusing. Will this be manageable for someone that has no WordPress setup experience? It's manageable, but you will need a little bit of WordPress experience. But there's absolutely loads and loads and loads of videos out in YouTube which will help you with that. And obviously, you've got the Facebook group as well. So if you got stuck with anything, just stick a message in the Facebook group. I've got loads of people who will actually uh, help you out. Well, yep, yeah, it's definitely manageable. Uh, where do we get the checklist? It's in the actual comments. Um, great stuff, great stuff. Yes, 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 yes. I'm brand new. And this discount for plugin. Uh, well, you missed a free one if you weren't in within the first five minutes and that. Uh, I'm definitely brand new. I'm following it though. Well done, Thomas. PDF link is in the chat. Uh, Rudolph, no, the magic is the magic page the home page. No, the magic page is not the home page, but I make my magic page layout and my home page layout to be exactly the same. 
And then basically what happens is I throw on redirect, like for this site, Pete Lee would be the main site, the main location. So I would redirect Pete Lee Magic Page site to the home page site. Uh, we'll go through that like sort of next week when we go over it. Uh, okay, Keith. Uh, Keith, we're out of time, yeah. bud. Um, yes. Right. Um, uh, so, few, guys. I've got to end it, mate. Time. I have to. I've got to set up another presentation in right. 10 minutes' time. So, what I would recommend doing, okay. guys, is download the PDF. I will try and set up for everybody so that you've got uh, the people. I've, I've already done it for about the first five or six people in the in the support desk. Download the PDF. As you start to work through the PDF, because it's in order, if there's anything you don't quite understand, copy the section before the tick box and paste it into the group and ask the questions to the members in the group. I've just uh, let a lot of people into our Facebook group. So any anybody who's struggling, you can do that inside of there. Um, and we're there to help. And what you'll find is if you search the group, if we all use exactly what's in the checkbox, so the checkbox, uh, what's on the on the PDF, if we all use the same questions, it's easy to then go into the group and type the, uh, and paste that question into the search group box on the left hand side, rather than first of all asking the question. You take paste it into there first, you'll be able to see if it's been asked before um, and, and work it that way. What we're gonna do next week is we're gonna go through um, a little bit more you're going to get to see a lot more next week with the sites and what the pages look like and, and things like that this was a basics today to go through the structure and what it does and how it works uh hamid i completely agree with you about how powerful it is i won't i won't say the swear word that you put in there not today but guys i really appreciate everybody being on we've we've had, had a ton of people on here today um but unfortunately, I do have to end it. I've got a presentation that I'm, I'm, I've, I've committed to. Uh, we thought it was going to be an hour and a half today, and, and, and I've got to be on that in 12 minutes. Um, so thank you very, very much for being on. Um, get everything posted in the group, obviously, with any issues you have. I'll sort the support out. And I just want to say thank you, everyone, and thank you, Keith, for, uh, yeah, for, for taking all that. Thank you, guys. And like I said, just, just use it. You'll get used to it. Don't have any fears, you can't break bugger all, just use it. Yeah, if you break it, just delete your site and start again. Simple way to do it. Yeah, okay. that is up to it. Okay, guys, <laughs> thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers, bye. -bye. Cheers, bye.